Hello, hello. Apologies for the video today. Just been running behind and trying to do this this morning. Um, hopefully this puzzle goes well and I can get it not too long after the normal time. Uh, this puzzle is called Four Leaf Magician by, I'm sorry, I don't want to say this. I would assume it's Psy, but if it's Sky, just so, you know, let me know in the comments if it should be Sky instead of Psy, but I think it's Psy. Uh, and the rules are mostly standard. There's a magic square rule that's a little unstandard, but uh, we'll get to that in a second. So we have normal Sudoku rules. That means digits one to nine in every row, every column, and every mark three by three box. We have German whisper lines. So adjacent digits along a German whisper line have to have a difference of at least five. So if this were say a six, then these would both have to be one as an example. Um, if this were seven, this could be one or two, so on and so forth. Um, the orange lines are Dutch whisper lines. So these are the same rule, except the difference has to be four instead of five. Um, so Unlike German whisper lines, there are no digits on Dutch whisper lines that have a guaranteed partner. So like for the example of a six uh, on a German whisper line, I know that next to a six has to be a one because the only digit that's five away from six in one to nine. Whereas I don't think there's any digit like that in Dutch whispers. Further, I can put a five in a Dutch whisper and that can go with one or nine, but I can't put five in a German whisper uh, irrespective of that being um, I'm just going to turn off pencil marks real quick. Uh, irrespective of this being um, wherever it is in line, because what, what can I put here? There's nothing I can put here. So, uh, sorry, irrespective of it being on the same box as the five. So that's Dutch whispers and German whispers. I've got quad clues. So this tells me that I have to put a two and a nine in these in one of those four surrounding cells. And I've got two magic squares both of which use the center square. So um, the magic so magic square has the same sum, sum in every row, column, and diagonal. Uh, and in this case, uh, there are non-repeating digits as specified here. That's not generically true for magic squares, I don't think, but it's true in this puzzle. Um, and so the way they work is I'm going to take the middle squares of every box and that's a magic square and the color is purple and I'm also going to take the position number from each box so cell one in box one cell two in box two etc okay and those meet in the middle it's good and those are also going to be magic square and I'm not going to reset the puzzle before I start because I want to keep those color markings I think it's going to be useful um, and I know that this is a five because in a magic square uh, this said, in a three by three magic square, at least, where I have all nine digits in it, uh, the center square is always a five. So let's talk a little bit about magic squares. I'm, I'm actually gonna use the center. Just, let's just pretend that this box were a magic square. There are essentially, there's essentially one unique magic square, um, but it can be rotated and reflected around. So in the middle of the magic square has to be a five. Why does there have to be a five in the middle? Well, there has to be a five because uh, I've got to make 15, well, I guess, why do I know I have to make 15? So I've got to have the same sum in three different rows, in three different columns, and in three different diagonals, right? And the center is part of all of those. So I need to have a digit in the center where that I can pair off the other digits so they all have the same sum. So there's two ways I can, or three ways I can do that. That can be done with one, five, or nine, I think. Uh, yeah, one, five, or nine all have that property. The problem is if I use one or nine, what happens if I use one in this exact symmetric logic lab with nine, what are my pairings off? Well, in one direction, I'm gonna have two, nine. Another direction, I'm gonna have three, eight. Another direction, I'm gonna have four, seven. Another direction, I'm gonna have five, six. I'm gonna be 11 in each case. There's gonna be 12. I'm gonna be something to 12 in each direction through the middle. Now, the problem is what happens when I do one of the uh, edges here? Well, if I do one of the edges, uh, what's going to end up happening is I'm not going to end up with 12 in every single edge. So how do I how do I know that's true? Uh, I haven't thought about this in a while, so I actually don't know why I know that's true. But but somewhere along here, there's going to be a 9, right? So that, that's the easiest way to think about it. Somewhere along here, there's going to be a 9. I don't know where it is, but somewhere, put it here, put it here, it doesn't matter. The only way to get 12 with a 9 in three digits is 9, 1, 2. If I put a 9 somewhere that's not the center, or, or if I put a 9 anywhere, right? I get one, two in one direction, but I also need a one, two here and a one, two here. It doesn't work. So that doesn't work. So I need a five in the center. 
And the other thing that I remember about magic squares is that the um, the the non-corner edges here are even. Pull up blue for a second, and the corners are odd. Now I'm questioning myself whether that's true. I'm pretty sure that's true. Uh, and so the reason for that is because I know now that this has to be 15 in every direction. I know at the very least that um, that these all send to 10, and so they're the same parity. I don't know whether they're odd even necessarily. But I also know that this is 15, and this is 15, and this is 15. So I have two of one and one of the other. The only way to make that 15 is if the corners are odd and the centers are even. That's the only way that works. So, um, so what I know then is these corners are even. And I'm going to keep that color labeling, blue for even and red for odd. Um, and I wonder if I even should. And that, so and I have four odds now here in a row. So these are now all even. That's cool. Um, and then these are odd. I, wonder, I, I think I'm going to get rid of my magic square marks. I'll just try to remember that. I'm going to stick to odd and even coloring. Let's see if I can find something here. Um, and this doesn't have a two on it. And this is these the the opposite digits always sum to ten. Um, oh, but this is so I, I thought I'd get more restriction here, but it's the same digit that's missing in both cases. Same thing here. You have two and eight are across from each other. So that's not so helpful. Um, but I do have two, three here in this German whisper kind of business, which means that my, and I have a low digit here and a low digit here. So one of these low digits is going to be a four. So this is not a four. So this is not a six. And further, I can't put a four on the inside. So one of these is going to be four, which means one of these is going to be nine because four has to go with nine. And I know how to mark this, but one of these is going to be nine. And what's interesting about that is this column's nine is taken because either this is four and that's nine, or this is four and that's nine. So one of these two digits is nine, and that takes up my nine in the column, which gives me a nine here. That's how I'm going to mark it, is like that. And then my nine in this box. I guess I don't really know where it goes. Something like this. Uh, I could go here. Yeah, that's not helpful. Um, but this has an eight here, so I can't do the same thing. So I do get a two. So just look at the quad clues that overlap. I get a two over here. Two's not odd. I get an eight over here. Eight's not odd. That does mean this is two, four, six. And this is, yeah, same. That's all coming from this restriction. Okay. Um, two, six, eight, two, four, eight. That's not so helpful. Okay, what am I supposed to do next? I know these two digits are these two. So these two and these two digits are those two. I wonder if I can pull something off of that. I don't see it immediately. I want to keep wanting to think these are magic squares, but that's not true. Like, like if this were eight, this has to be two or something, but that's not necessarily true. Um, so I can do the same thing here with that I did here with four is with sixes and nine. So the there are two high digits here. There's a high digit here because German whisper lines have to alternate between high and low because you can't put five on it. And so if I put, say, a six, I've got to go down to one. Even if I go up to nine, I've got to go down to at least four. So by low, I mean one to four. And high, I mean six to nine. So two highs are here. I need a six in here. They can't go in the center. So one of these are sixes. So one of these is a one. One of these is a one. But see, the nine doesn't the nine here, so I have the same thing with the ones, but one of these is a one. But that doesn't help me down here, I don't think. Oh, five's not on this, so these actually do alternate high-low. It's the only way on a Dutch whisper they don't alternate, and that's not true necessarily out here. But on these four digits, these are alternating high-low. Uh, and there's no eight. But 
that is not enough. Um, Cause I got six, seven or nine in here. I don't know whether those two or those two. What I'm trying to do is something like, can I show six can't be here and maybe it has to be here and that gives me six, one or something, something like that. I'm just not seeing it. Um, maybe it's fives. So yeah, five is in here with the seven and eight. So five and seven are both in this section because they can't go on the German whisper line. They're not even so. Um, same thing down here with five and three. Um, I'm also noticing, no, I'm not noticing that, I made a mistake, okay. Um, what am I supposed to do next? Uh, there's no nine on here, which means I have kind of a pseudo alternating high-low where I'm going where low is one to four and high is five to eight. I just don't have enough digits. Like these are, I have a high and a low. Well, I guess I just have a low. Nine's gone. In terms of eight, I have a low gone. Oh, that means, does that mean this is high? That might mean this is high. Hold on a second. No, 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 because I have two digits in here that could be anything. Um, can you see like that? Oh, this is already high. Yeah, yeah this is already high. Other digit is one. So if this is four, that's one. If this is four, that's one. Okay, so this is actually just a one nine pair. That's a little nicer. Um, and these are four. This could be six even. Six, seven, eight. Actually, four, six, seven, eight is almost a triple. Uh, can I eliminate seven from this Excel somehow? If this is seven, we get one here. This would be one as well. Hmm. It's not obvious to me why that would matter. Okay. I've got these also got two highs, two lows, a third high. Yeah, I just have two more lows down here, and this would also be six. These are all different. Is that something? Um, no, I think it works. I think any of these still work. Yeah, everything lines up correctly here. Uh, sorry, I'm not seeing the break in really here. What is the, what is the step I'm missing? One of these is one, so none of those are ones. One is in here. That's not so helpful. One is also, no, I didn't even say that. One is one of those. Sorry, I don't know what. Oh, um, I got fives. What's well, a little bit? I got fives here because I've got a five in this. I've got a five in this. So one of these is a five, which does mean five's not on this as well. So I, I do get alternating here. Isn't the same thing here? Yeah, fives here, fives here. So this is actually an eight five pair. That's a little better. And so then these are alternating high low. Um, but I don't get that here. I wonder if this is going to be a two five pair or not, or if I'm going to get a five on this. Yeah, I don't know. I don't even know. I mean, Alternating is not really helping me because these aren't the same, like across from each other are not the same. 
So this is really not that helpful. Um, here. What is the next step? 246. Um, so, well, I've got a couple. I, I don't know. I don't know. This is tricky. So I have two evens. These are all even. They're four different evens. Um, so I know, is there something about the way these get rotated? Which I know something about this based on these that I hadn't thought about. So if this is 6, 8, this is 3. If this is 4, um, this would have to be 8. Uh, so this would be, you know, 4, 8, 3. So this is 1 or, actually, this is one or 3. Can you see anything here? This must be 7 or 9. I mean, it must, no, yeah, because this is a magic square, so this is 7 or 9. Um, so, hmm. now can I say something like this isn't 7? If this, because this is 4, 7, 6, 4, 6, 7, or 8, I think we said, right? Because it's either low, in which case it's 4, or it's high, which in case it's not 9, so it's 6, 7, 8. So if this is seven, these both become ones. Three, seven. And it's sevens here. Is that something? I feel like that's nothing. What am I what am I doing? Um, yeah, no, that's nothing. Can, and can you something like that here? If this is four, that's nine. If it's six, one. So if it's four, this is nine. If it's six, two, okay, that's seven. And if it's eight, two, four, that's three. Ugh, that's too many choices. Um, well, by the same logic, this is also four, six, seven. Can I say this isn't seven? If this is seven, these also well this at least becomes seven, one, three. Maybe it's seven, seven. Well this would become four. Um does that matter? If this is seven, that's seven. This is for, and since I don't know which of these is for still. These are going to be a 2 4 pair on the left side and a 6 8 pair on the right side. Well, this is for, we get 9s here, 1, 9. So these all become 9. I think the same thing can be true here, right? Four, nine, nine. Um, no, this, this could then be a two. So there is some asymmetry here. So I wonder if that's it. If this is four, nine, nine. We get nines in these places. I'm just grasping at straws. I don't know what to do. Um, yeah, I really don't know what to do next. Where is the question I need to ask? There's got to be a question that will make this clear. Um, what, four nines, nines. a lot of choices for nine. Um, this could be nine still. Uh, 
of the rat is mine. Wait, any of the wait, what? Uh, okay, that is not the right question. That is not the right question. Um, two. Does this become a magic square by virtue of this? Probably not, but that would be an interesting little, that would be an interesting result. Uh, okay, so what is this? I wonder if we can see that like this is one three, because if these are both seven nine and these are both one three, does that make these stick together in a way that doesn't work? So if this is seven nine, Oh, does this, uh, can this be six? Yeah, six, seven, two works. Six, seven, two, three. Yeah, yeah, of course it works. Um, I don't know. Okay, let's think about these whispers. Um, Oh, um, hmm. I wonder, so now I'm thinking about how, like if nine's on both of these whispers, that would cut off nine from box five. I wonder if there's something like that involved where, well, I guess one of these is nine. So that, oh, there we go. None of these are nine, so that's not nine. I need a nine in my magic square here. So one of these is definitely a nine. One of these is definitely a one which means this can't be seven now, because if it's seven, we said that's a one. So it's one and two are gone. So this is not seven, it's not six. So now we've got four, eight here. And now we do have a four, six, there we go. There we go. That is what I was missing. Um, so just to rewind that, sorry if I said that too quickly. So this magic square, if this, um, wait, is that true? Hold on. Yes, yes, yes. I need, a, I need a nine in both magic squares. And one of them is going to be in this column and one of them is going to be in this row, right? Otherwise, I'll, be, I'll have a magic square that's missing a nine. I can't have a magic square nine here. I can't have it here because of these sums. I can't have it here because one of these two cells is a nine. So my nine in this um, row is going to be here. And in fact, I can do the same thing up here. One of these is a nine and one of these is a one. Now, now, because one of these is a nine, whichever nine this is, is going to sum to 15 with this five and one of these two squares. So one of these is a one for sure, which means I have one and two accounted for in this box. So this cannot be one or two. So this cannot be six or seven. And now I have a four, six, eight triple here. Um, oh, I would love if I get rid of seven here, but I think this can be a two. Okay. But this can't be six because we have one here. This can't be six. Um, and then I feel like I'm very close. So four, six, eight here, and I have two is one of these. So these are all odd. These are all odd. And I have a one, I have an one X wing here. So one is over here. So I have a high and a low odd. So one of them is one or three. Ah, one of them is one or three. I have a high low odd. So one of them is one or three because I can't have them both be five. So, so there's no nine, right? Oh, and there's no one either. So actually this is just a three, seven pair because there's no nine, there's no one because my X-wing are ones. These are odds, they're three, five, or seven. They can't be five because that would break the Dutch whisper. So this is a three, seven pair. That's one, there we go. That is our end. Wow. Uh, yeah, it was maybe not as hard as I was making it, but I, I just have a really hard time seeing that. Um, three, seven, I don't know which way it goes though yet, but I, I think this should all flow fairly because I have this now. So this is a six, eight pair. This can no longer be six, it's a two, four pair. Um, and I know a lot more about this magic square than I did a second ago. So what do I know? Oh, I wish I knew my magic squares better because now we're down to two magic squares possible. So I should be able to limit these to two choices. Um, let's see, if this is six, that's two, and this is 
seven. So six, two, seven, or this is eight, four, three. So this is not one. Okay, so that's one, that's nine. And I'm just adding things up. It's like, I have two choices here, six or eight. Each one of them is going to imply a magic square uh, and figure out what's in the middle here. So that's three, seven, nine, one. Um, I probably should know then these two at least to two spots at most as well, now that I have this nine, one. Right, so this is one, so this is a six, eight pair. I guess I knew that. Oh, no, I didn't know that. This could have been two. But because this is a one, these sum to 14, so that's a six, eight pair. Um, and then these are the other things, like the two, four pair. You get a two, four pair here, a six, eight pair here. Um, so where's my two? Oh, that's in here. So this is, a, this is actually just a two, three, five triple. And then what, 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 what? I feel like I should, for some reason I feel like I should know this better, but I do not. Um, this is a three, seven pair. These don't run out now. I feel like I'm running out. I don't know why. Ones, five, okay. Let's think about the magic squares. That's gotta be the magic squares. No, this one has two. There's two possibilities for this. They're all accounted for. There are two possibilities for the outer one. They're all accounted for. Um, but these are, these corners make them have to be flipped in a weird way. Is there something where only one orientation works? Like if this is two, we get two, six, seven, three. No, yeah, that's fine. So. Once I once I orient one, I'll orient the other. I don't think what's in there. I think I need to use the whispers to do more. So if this is seven, this is three. And if it's three, it's seven or eight. Because nine is taken. Right, because one and two are taken here. So one of the uh do I know one of the, could it be eight seven? This maybe could be eight seven. Well, I know those digits now, right? It's two and what? Two and five? It is two and five. Okay. I wonder if that was going to happen. Um, so this is... No, I keep wanting to think this is the magic square, but it is not. The magic squares are only in the outer two rings. Um, that would be a cool puzzle if you could have a magic square in every ring. That would be neat. Um, but that's not this puzzle. Focus on this puzzle. Where is five in here? And the same thing here. If this is three, what's this? It's seven or eight. One of these is three. Um, no, that's not helpful. This, if this is seven, this is two. That's interesting. So this is two, seven, or eight. If this is two, we get four, eight, three. If this is seven, we get Three, how did that go? Uh, three, four, eight. If it's eight, we get six, two, seven. No. Not so helpful. Okay, at least my first glance check here. Oh, that can't be two because of the quad, actually. So that does help a lot. So that's three, that's seven, that's three. Oh, wow, yeah, that does a lot. That's going to orient my magic square now. So this seven has to go with. Um, things that add to 8, so that's 6 and 2. Cross the magic square, same to 10. That's 2, that's 8, 6, 4. Wow, okay, so our magic squares are now done. Uh, that's going to be 7 and 3. Wow, this is really cool. This is a cool, 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 cool puzzle. I have highs and lows now. So this is 1 or 4. This is high. I think that includes five. And this then is low. Literally any low works. I'm going to get a marker. Um, okay. So I'm just about this, these outer, these loops now. This is low. Two, three, four, five. Is that anything yet? Oh, this is not three. Uh, oh, or two. Okay, here we go. That's five. We get a two, three pair here. Yeah, we do know a lot here, I guess. Uh, this is high. 
We don't know much about that yet. This is high. That's an eight. So that's a seven, which gives me that two. And then that's not four, so that's a one. Which means my remaining what are my remaining three digits here? They are five, six, and nine. Six is here because it's not in this box. It's a five, nine. The sevens is this eight. That's a four. Um, the four up here. Six, one gets rid of these. Six, one in the column. This is high. Seven doesn't work because one and two are gone. So that's nine. This then becomes three or four. This is eight because it can't be nine, which makes this three. Um, one, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, two, four. Not four. That's a two because four, six are gone. Four, four six, eight are all gone at this even sum. Uh, one, three pair. What do I have left here? Five, nine, seven. Yeah, the nine is not there, so that's nine. This becomes a five, seven pair, and so therefore this is an eight. Oops, nope, not an eight. What is this? Uh, but that's a six. This is a, uh-oh. No, I broke it. Oh, no. It was an eight, but it wasn't an eight. Okay, hold on. Where did I break this? It's already broken, so, so that's logical. That can be seven, and it can be eight, so that'd be nine. Yeah, that's logical. Three, four, can be four, so that'd be three. That had to be eight. Um, where is this step? No, two, four, eight, look there, that's six. And that's a hidden single, too. So it's gotta be earlier than this, because this is already broken, right? Oh, no, this is just seven. Why did I think that had to be five, seven? Seven's here. Yeah, 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 okay, okay. Uh, my brain, this is a five, eight. And this is a seven, okay, okay, okay. That's not three anymore, but a Dutch whisper. So this leaves four and five, I believe. Um, and this eight in the column, and it's here. This is six, because that's gotta be high, and it's three, seven, eight, nine. Eight looks over here. These digits are two, four, and seven. Seven has to go here with two, because four looks at it. Um, two looks over here at that. So I know these three digits. There's only one even left. It's got to be four. That's got to be six. These are two and eight. I know how those go. One's going to be over here. Uh, three is going to be here. Seven and nine. I don't know the order of seven and nine. Is that possible? It's possible. So I get a seven nine pair here. So this is a four five. I know how that goes. Um, this pair is what? Three, three seven. Uh, and I don't know how that goes. Interestingly, so I have a two seven three seven. Um, no, five is here. This is going to be, oh, two looks at this. So three looks over here, whoops. Three looks over here at this. By the Dutch whisper, that only is this. Also, I had four, seven up here. I could have done that immediately. Um, so these four cells, oh, let's do it. Let's just do it by columns. I need a two, which goes here. And then six. And then these are one, which will go here. This has got to be high uh, nine. So this has got to be by column logic four. This is going to go up then. It's got to be nine. That fixes that. Uh, four, six, two. I'll look at this. That's eight. And this, therefore, is six. And we did it. All right, cool. Sorry, it took a while to find that break in. Um, I probably set up more than I needed to, and so everything kind of rolled pretty smoothly after that. But thanks, Sai. It's another great puzzle, and thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.